Session two. Okay, let's see what kind of safe, secure dwelling they've got in there. Player boots the program, this time greeted with the title in full color. What? I don't remember this. Interactive adventure. Meadow. The meadow is dry and cheery. Last night's rainfall has left the sleeping ground a bit muddy. But it also kept most of the more dangerous and intelligent animals under cover in their lairs. A muddy path runs east-west. Oh, cute. These are some funny guys, all right. Okay. Have it your way. Go west, young man. Mage's Cave. This is a simple but well-maintained cave dwelling set in a hillside. The rounded door marks the entrance. The door bears a sign with green lettering. Okay, let's check this out. Player types, read sign. Mage's Cave. The sign reads, out doing lunch. Hmm. I wonder... Oh well. Player types, open door. Mage's Cave. The door appears to be locked. Oh, great. You want me to find shelter, then you won't let me in. Player types, E. Meadow. The meadow is dry and cheery. Maybe I missed something up north. Player types, N. Wilderness 2. There is a sign here. Hmm, okay. Player types, read sign. Wilderness 2. The sign bears a poem. What? Oh, all right. Read poem. The wild, wild dogs of Wilderness 2 welcome you. Oh, we're witty today. Player types, S. Meadow. The meadow is exceptionally dry and cheery. A somewhat muddy path runs east-west. I'm supposed to go east, right? Wait a minute. wonder if the mage is back from lunch. Mage is cave. This is a simple but well-maintained cave dwelling set in the hillside. The closed door bears a sign in red lettering. Red lettering, eh? Player types, read sign. The sign reads, out, doing, dinner. All right, all right, I'm going. Player types, E, twice. Town gates. Iron gates, set in the high wall, prevent further eastward progress. The gate bears a sign. Will this be worth it? Player types, read, sign. Town gates. The sign reads, temporarily closed for repairs. There is a key here. All right, finally. Player types, take key. Town gates. Key taken. The key bears an inscription. Okay, I'll bite. Player types, read inscription. Town gates. The inscription reads, that would be awfully easy now, wouldn't it? Oh, no you don't. Player types, unlock gate with key. Town gates. The key doesn't fit a lock. Too easy. Too easy. Yeah, much too easy. Possible, even. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a road south? Player types, W. Meadow. The meadow is bright, cheery, and real familiar. A dry path runs east-west. Guess not. Player types, W. Mage's Cave. This is a nifty little cave dwelling with a sign on the door in brown, vibrating letters. All right. Player types, read, sign. Mage's Cave. The sign reads, I'd rather be coffee break dancing. Now what? Player types, knock on door. Knockity knock knock. Player waits a couple of seconds, then looks disgusted. Checks his map. I was right, there was a road south from the meadow. Player types, E. Meadow, a path runs east-west. Oh yeah? Player types, S. Narrow path. Oh yes, there does seem to be a little path here. It is mostly overgrown, but it still looks passable, at least as far as can be seen from here. Yeah! 
Player types S. Path send. The path ends at a gate which bears no lock. There is a feeling of calm about this place. Player types open gate. The gate swings open easily and the path continues to the south. Player types S. The cave. A short walk past an untended but still abundant looking garden leads to a deserted but habitable looking cave dwelling. The front door is half open. There is a lantern here. A tender box lies just inside the door. Eureka! Player types take all. The cave. Lantern taken. Tender box reaching for the tender box. You push the door completely open. It is dark inside. If that isn't a hint. Player types light lantern with tinderbox. Inside the cave. The cave is sparsely furnished but neat. Viewing the small bed is what appears to be an indoor whale. The far wall of the whale has an eerie, translucent appearance. Choose one. Approach the whale, sleep in the bed, or leave the cave. Hello? Yeah, I got it. Questions at the end of chapter 7? Okay. Not much. I've got a game in the machine. Yeah, that's my motto. Killing time by killing dragons. Mm, no, this one's weird. I, I don't know what it is. Every time I want to power down, it gives me abuse. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, bye. Player hangs up phone, glances out window. It's nighttime. Approach well, huh? Well, well, well. Tomorrow. Player types S. Sleep in the bed. Your score is 100 out of a possible 350 points. A fine adventure indeed. Just bursting with a desire to do great deeds, like kicking a catnap in the first bed you find, without even investigating your lodgings. But you have, at least, managed to satisfy the simple need for shelter and security. That will give you the rank of... Boom. Call it... Rumi. End of session. Do I need this grief? Player turns off computer. You're gonna get it tomorrow. End of session two.